temperatures only going up, it's important for young athletes to stay vigilant about practicing safety, safely. Wave News reporter Sean Bowdy shows us why coaches and trainers are on guard too. On days like Thursday, even the water bottles are sweating. But it could be worse. It's hotter on turf. The DuPont Manual Boys soccer team had to move their Wednesday night practice to Thursday morning. It's a little cooler, but it still presents its challenges. Especially early morning, some kids may or may not have had breakfast and may or may not have been, you know, hydrating. You know, maybe they woke up 30 minutes before practice. We're a lot more vigilant for sure. Athletic trainer Drew Miller says streamlined communication with coaches is vital. I will preemptively let them know like, hey, at some point in practice, I'm going to be checking this. If we reach that level, I'm, I'm going to come to you. We're going to have to make some adjustments. The KHSAA says if the heat index reaches a certain level, you can't practice outdoors. 86.9 on this. We're, we have no restrictions. DuPont Manual says if it gets too hot, even in the morning, they'll pull players off the practice field. No ifs, ands, or headbutts. When our athletic trainers make a recommendation or a stance on an adjustment or a cancellation, that is law. That is what we're going to do. There's no questioning of it, and we'll follow the athletic trainer's guidance. Guidance. Drew Miller is keeping an eye out for signs of heat related illness, making sure things look normal as long as they are still sweating, breathing fine. As an athletic trainer, Miller has to be ready if and when something does happen. It's when they stop sweating, become extremely lethargic, stuff like that, that you really want to get in on it. JCPS canceled all outdoor activities Thursday after noon. They'll continue to adapt to protect students from these high temperatures. After all, that's the goal in Louisville. Sean Bowdy, Wave News.